Well guys, this is it. The sixth season of The Neighborhood is officially coming this fall. But there is no official release date from CBS just yet. They should schedule it on September like they did with the previous seasons. Man, this multi-camera comedy show is continuously getting so much love, dedication, praise, and support for almost five years now because of its portrayal of interactual relationships and ex exploration of important social issues. The Neighborhood is by far one of the best outstanding sitcom shows of all time. Just like all the other sitcom shows that used to be on ABC, like Modern Family, The Middle, The Goldbergs, Fresh Off the Boat, American Housewife, Blackish, The Real O'Neills, and much more. It's wonderful, funny, and has some great memorable moments in every single episode. What newer episodes should we see about the Butlers and the Johnsons? Maybe we should see these family go to places that we didn't see them go before, like going to the water park or at a new shopping center. That would be awesome. And we know for a fact that the show isn't actually filmed in real life locations, but it's filmed on set. I first watched The, ne the Neighborhood back in January 2022, and it's a pretty good show. I love all the characters. Calvin, Tina, Malcolm, and Marty Butler are the best funny black family. Dave is the best character. The fans say that Dave is by far one of the funniest dads ever in television history. Well, that's nice, but for me, I find Hal from Malcolm in the Middle to be the funniest because of Brian Cranston's excellent performance. Grover is a really good kid, played by Hank Greenspan, and Gemma is absolutely my favorite. My mind got blown that Gemma is played by Beth Bears, the same actress who played Caroline from Two Broke Girls, also known as one of my favorite worst overhated sitcom shows that I really enjoyed watching since I was 16 years old. And I do understand why TV critics and some sitcom fans despise Two Broke Girls with a burning passion because of its awful comedy and why it's controversial. Every sitcom fan has opinions on Two Broke Girls, whether they enjoyed watching it or not. I know I am going off topic, but back on track. I imagine reviewing all the episodes that I like about this show by explaining why is it my favorite, what I like about what the characters are doing, and what are my favorite scenes from my favorite episodes. Just like how Colbert Awesome reviewed his favorite episodes of Drake and Josh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Danny Phantom back in 2020 and 2021. Oh, I don't, I don't actually review on whatever stuff I like, but at least I would give it a try. My smart TV has Paramount Plus, but I don't feel like purchasing P Paramount Plus because it's way too expensive compared to the other streaming service platforms we got, like Disney Plus, Max, Hulu, Peacock, Amazon Prime, Apple TV Plus, and a new streaming service that a lot of people have never heard of before, MGM Plus. For those of you who have never watched The Neighborhood but do have Paramount Plus, you should really check this show out if you're one of those people who couldn't try to find much good shows to watch. And yes, Paramount Plus really has some good most to watch successful shows that a lot of people go back to watch on repeat and go back uh, talking about, like the iCarly 2021 reboot and the Star Trek series. Are you guys excited for The Neighborhood Season 6 to premiere this fall? As for me, I really am, and I sometimes miss catching up to see the new episodes on TV due to work. But that's fine, it, it always happens to everyone when they get home late from work or went grocery shopping at a nearby supermarket. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever a new video gets uploaded right away. New episodes of The Neighborhood always air every Monday night at 8 o'clock. And I will see you all in my next video.